hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel code logic so in this series we are going to see how we can develop the faculty management system this is the seventh video of that series so in our previous videos we have developed the uh, admin module with the da dashboard framework and the uh, admin login so now uh, we are going to see how we can add a new faculty to our faculty module so uh, so now uh, if you if you are new here then uh, please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, if you want any kind of project college project then uh, you can contact us on our instagram id so yeah let's get started now i have opened uh, vs code so inside which will create another terminal will create a new interface with the command ngg interface model slash faculty that means uh, we are creating a faculty interface inside the model folder okay you can see inside the model folder faculty.ts file is created now uh, we'll give some parameters to the faculty model first one is id which is of type string then the faculty number which is of type number so each faculty has unique uh, number okay after that uh, faculty name which is of type string then joining year of type number birth date of type date department of type string and mobile number also we required other card of faculty so which is of also type number sorry string we can define it in number now uh, we'll go inside our faculty module we'll open the faculty.html file we have created here container.fluid so that means we are using entire area and inside which we have created one row and we are going to create some columns there so I am using bootstrap here inside uh, each row we are going to create some cards and each card has we have added a property like shadow and text center here we have added one uh, one more property text success that means the color of that text will be a green and inside card body we are writing some text like add faculty and we'll add a symbol there plus symbol okay you can see this is our add faculty now similar thing we'll copy that and uh, we'll paste it here again and here we'll change add faculty to total faculties so here uh, we are going to give the dynamic count of faculties so right now I am just writing here 10 style we have uh, written that inside uh, anchor tag so that when wherever a user clicks on that card 
that method should be called and for anchor tag we have added this style text decoration none and also added the class text success We'll write a comment here first row so this is our first row is completed so you can see now we'll go inside our bootstrap and the open the documentation here we'll search for the model so whenever user click on the add faculty new model should be opened up so uh, this is how the model will open ok we'll copy that code we'll paste it here add faculty module ok we don't need that command we'll use these two parameters area toggle and database target and we'll remove everything from there and we are going to add that those parameters to our first add faculty section ok now you can see whenever we click on that add faculty a model is coming up ok so now inside that model we want forms so uh, where we can get the values from the admin first we'll change the name of that form add faculty then we'll add text success that means color of that text will be green we have missed one more property email so we have added that also a uh, password so we have created a form tag here inside which we are going to add all the values okay we'll search here forms floating labels this is the floating labels we'll copy it and we'll paste it here we'll change the attributes full name type I change to text and we'll copy it and paste it again change the name to email then mobile number and other card number ok now joining here which is of type number birth date which is of type date
and we have added that submit button inside that form only so you can see now okay this is our form Now here uh, inside the faculty.ts file we are going to define one object of faculty new form group and we are going to change the name to faculty number faculty name email mobile department birth date and the joining year other card number and password okay and for forms we are going to add the form group tag with the form details faculty form details and uh, for each attribute for each input tag we are going to add the form control name we'll change its name to email form control name for mobile that will be a uh, mobile then the other card number So this will help you to get the values from form to our uh, TS file, faculty.ts file. Okay, then joining here. We'll copy that, we'll paste it here again. Change birth date and password. Okay and on type of that button will be submit and on submit the value will get here so we are we are going to write a new method ng submit equal to add new faculty and this method will be defined inside our faculty.ts file here we're going to define that method and we'll print the values uh, which I get from the form to our developers window okay inside the constructor uh, we missed one field form builder so we have injected that and then uh, on ng init we are going to call this method faculty form faculty forms equal to fp dot group and we'll copy all these values and we'll paste it here so we are going to add, add uh, validations here so we'll change its values to empty and we'll type the validators dot required okay we are going to replace that okay we'll import the validators okay for uh, we are going to create another object faculty object id of type string and we'll quick fix and we'll add all missing parameters and uh, yeah we are going to change that 
id to yeah, bold it we are going to change it to string so that uh, we can get proper values here also we are going to change bold date to string okay that's it okay and now we are going to add the validators here validators check okay so we'll copy that code and we'll paste it here so if faculty data dot get mobile is invalid or is dirty or is touched then we are going to show this field okay so here uh, we have changed uh, its parameters so now here joining gear we are going to change it to joining gear then here it is a bird date we will change it to bird date now password okay here for email we are going to add the validators dot email check and for the password max length and min length we are going to sorry min length to 6 max length that that can be anything and for mobile we are going to set the min length to 10 and max length to 10 so if user enters anything in between 0 to 10 or beyond 10 then uh, it will show an error that mobile number is not valid we don't need to give the space there ok now you can see this is our form we'll add new values here Okay, added the date, add faculty. So we'll open the developers window inside console. We'll see here inside object we got the data. Okay, so yeah, that's it for the video, guys. So if you like the video or if you have any doubt suggestions, then you can contact us on our Code Logic Instagram ID. So thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.